I've been doing it so long that I really don't remember the reason. I just, the only thing I remember is asking my mom if to act. And I remember her taking me to the agency. I remember auditioning. And to be, I mean, it's just really stuck with me ever since. And I love it so much. It's just my favorite thing. How did you get involved with this series, You? And what was the audition process like? So, actually, this You audition was the first audition I had at the start of quarantine. And the audition was really serious. And I, I feel like I'm best at serious auditions. Like, I like comedies, but seriousness is just like the best thing. I'm, I'm just the best at that. So, it was really dramatic and sad and... You, I, I just really felt the part. Like, it just felt really good. What was it like working on the set of You? And was there anything funny that happened off camera? I mean, everyone was so nice. And the set was just so great. And, and the, all my scenes were in the boys' home, uh, most of them. And a funny thing is, is that the people that were supposed to be bullying me were actually really nice off camera. So when they would bully me after the scene, like after they yell cut, um, they would all like apologize and stuff. But it's, I, I would just be like, it's fine. It's just acting, you know? But I, I just found that really funny as I was, as we were shooting. How would you describe your experience of playing young Joe? And is this character similar or different from grown up Joe? Well, I would say that the difference between young Joe and old Joe is that Young Joe is very vulnerable and sad and like upset and but yet a little there's a little bit of sweetness in him and like older Joe is like angry and like it's it's all like heightened emotions of what young Joe is like he's very angry and he's very sad and he's very psycho and he's all the things young Joe is but more like pushed and, um, yeah. So how did you, or did you work with Penn to discuss how to play Young Joe? I didn't work with him, like, in scenes together because clearly I wouldn't. And, um, I basically just, like, watched him and, like, tried to emulate it or imitate it for myself by, like, watching his mannerisms and his expressions and, um just everything about him. I just wanted to be exactly like him. What was the most challenging part about playing the role of young Joe and how did you overcome it? I think the hardest part was that when you're acting in like sad scenes like that, you know it's acting, but I also felt like this is really happening to kids all over the world. And it just really makes you feel like sad but i just had to tell myself that it's acting and you just got to do it and yeah what do you think sets the show you apart from other psychological thrillers to set it up I, I think that the difference between this show and other shows is that you're sort of rooting for joe like with other shows you want the bad guy to be punished or killed or you know the whole situation but with joe you you like him you want him to win you want him to continue his things that he does what was the experience like working through the pandemic and what are some of the new things you had to go through during the acting process um the it wasn't that different on set i mean the only difference was the um getting tested every day uh on set and uh wearing wearing masks that was really the only thing. What's one thing you'd like to share about your experience that you could that can help a fellow actor? Um, to say one thing, I would say put as much of yourself into the characters that you play. And um, I think that that's kind of what I did with Young Joe. What was the experience of hair, makeup, and costumes like, and how did it help you get into character? Well, what's funny is with my hair, you can see that it's very straight and just normal. And um, when to play young Joe, he has a lot of curly hair, right? So 
they would take this tiny little curling iron and curl each part of my hair, which took forever. But it was, it was really funny and I looked very cute. What can fans of you expect going into season three and what are you hoping they take away from season three? Well, you can expect a lot of twists and let's just say that love is a lot more interesting than you think.